everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. I had a little frog in my throat. <laughs> my name is Susan Timchak and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I'd like to welcome you here. Today I have um, a Dollar Tree find that I uh, kind of spruced up to make a cute little gift. So first I'm going to show you my original um, idea and then I'm going to show you another idea that um, I saw someone had done this on YouTube and I don't have the person's name who did this but I thought it was a good idea and um, so let me share with you now here was the original oh, sorry for the glue boogers this was the original idea this is a Dollar Tree lantern and it actually has a light in it and it lights up I didn't pull the tab out yet um, and all I did was I decorated it and um, I'm all these little things were from the Dollar Tree. This was um, from the Dollar Tree. They were like long um, sticks, kind of like with the pine stuff on it. And I just wrapped it around and I adhered everything with um, my glue gun. I used my glue gun for everything. And the little bows, all the little embellishments. And I thought this would be real cute for um, my Christmas Eve dinner table to have one of these at everybody's place settings. However, when I brought them home, they have them in um, this black color and then they're in like a gray color. When I brought them home, I realized I only had 10. Some were missing these handles, which is an easy fix. I can, you know, use wire or whatever. And I loved how these came out. So I went online and if you don't know it, you can go to Dollar Tree online and you can order things. So then I saw these online. So I thought these were these, <laughs> but they weren't. These are a little bigger and these are actually an ornament. So I ordered a bunch of these thinking, okay, well that, you know, I'll have enough then to do them. And then my daughter said, well, you realize they're not the same thing. So, um, yeah, I did. And as much as I thought these were, they don't light up. They don't have a light in them. So <laughs> I was kind of stuck with, oh boy, now I got 20 of these and, you know, 10 of the other ones. And what am I going to do with them all? So I took this and let me fix the tag. I made them into this. Let me grab a black one. Well, it's kind of like a black with like a little bit of a... Um, a speckle in it so I turned them into this so you're like okay well you're stamping up demonstrator where's the stamping well I think little tags on them but I think they're so cute and I made them so that they light up as did the girl that I saw on YouTube kind of took mine a little bit step further so first up you buy these little um, tea lights from the Dollar Tree and they come two in a pack and I think this one's, yeah, this one's burnt out. But you can replace the batteries. And the batteries, they do have them at the Dollar Tree. So I thought, well, you know, I didn't really like the white little wick on here. So I pulled out my Stampin' Blends. And I thought, oh, they're alcohol markers. I can color them. And yes, you can. So you just take your Stampin' Blends. And you just color this little plastic, what's supposed to be the wick of your candle. And you can, you know, let that dry and add a little more color to make it a little more deeper. You can even use the um, the orange, the pumpkin pie one, if you wanted, instead of the, um, the daffodil. But look at that. It turns it into a yellow candle. So even if, you know... That it stops lighting. Let me put this away. You know, it still looks like it's lit. Um, where's my completed one? See, they still look lit, even though, you know, when the battery turns out. Now, these will light up. So, let me show you how I, um, what I did. So, I just took some, some washi tape, and you can use any kind of washi tape. And I don't think this was the original one I used. But anyhow, you just wrap your washi tape around like this. I'm just going to trim this. And what I did is I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to come off. So I used a little bit of glue on there. Let me just trim this a little. It's a little too much. 
So add a little tab, dab of glue on there just to make sure it doesn't come off. Okay. And then just kind of rub it, you know, all around. Okay, so then you have your little ornaments. So first off, um, oh, there is a little green thing glued up to the top of these, which is, you know, ugly. So I just pull it off. It comes a lot easier off on the white ones, and they have a little bit of a sparkle to them. I'm not sure if it's showing up on cam camera, but they have a little bit of sparkle. But um, it does pull right off, and I didn't want to throw it away. So this is a little wire topper. And I probably should have done this ahead of time. So you're just going to take that little wire off, but don't throw it away because we're going to put it back on when we're done. Now these are not glued. See, you can pull these right apart. I have a little scraper from my um, brother's scanning cut. <laughs> and look how very easily these come out. So this all comes apart just like this. Now to turn it into um, the candle like I used, these two pieces get tossed away in the trash. You're going to take your candle and you know a, you can put a little bit of glue on there. You might want to use something that's very clear and this is going to go on top like this. Now in order to get it to fit in here these little nubby things they got to come off. So I just use a sharp pair of my um, my old trimming scissors and see how easy that just comes off just trim that away because you don't want that. Just like that. Keep your eyes closed so you don't poke your eye out. Um, then this little candle piece, again, if that was glued, but it's going to fit right in here. And you'll see. Because I didn't want to glue it in because you want to have access to get to that light. So then this just goes back together. Just like so. And just go all around and see. You can fix that like that. And you will go ahead and put your wire back on very easily. Now you can decorate it with whatever you want. This is my bag of decorations. This is not Stampin' Up! Ribbon, so don't look at that. But all these little bows, these were pulled off of um, some of the little um, greeneries. Um, you know, I have little bells in here. You know, you can decorate it with whatever. You can get all those tchotchkes at the dollar store. So then I took this piece that I originally pulled off, and I'll pull one out. I kind of glued it down here. I took one of those other little things and put it there, tied a bow and tied it to the top. And the stamping, I took my um, tag punch, and I just punched out a tag, trimmed it, used a sponge. The stamp set I used to do the Christmas wishes is the Merry Mistletoe, sponged around the edge. And then this just gets tied onto here, and you decorate it however you want. And you make these really super cute little lanterns that um, you can make the large mama size or the little baby size. And these are cute enough. You can actually hang this on your tree because they're very lightweight because they're plastic. And I just thought they came out super, super cute. So maybe this will inspire you to head on over to your Dollar Tree and see some different things, what you can do out of, you know, what is there. Spruce it up to make something personal for yourself. And I also wanted to remind you, currently Stampin' Up! is having an extravaganza sale. And the sale starts today, November 20th, with online extravaganza prices. It runs through the 26th. Today there is only a 24-hour stamp sale, today only. So you'll want to head on over to my stampinsucreates.stampinup.net. You'll see the full listing. The um, discounts are 20% off on selected stamps. Then starting tomorrow, so this is the stamps are just for today. Starting tomorrow through the 26th, there is a huge variety of items from cello bags to paper pumpkin kits to... Um, 
refills on paper pumpkins, thinlets, die cuts, watercolor pencils, baker's twine. Well, it just goes on and on and on. Punches, um, all, all sorts of glitter shapes and um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. So just wanted to remind you, and I do have a host code posted, and I am offering um, gifts as a special thank you. You'll want to check that out as well, that um, they will be shipped separately. With a $25 order, you will receive five hand-stamped cards. With a $50 order, you will receive five hand-stamped cards and a pack of our clear faceted gems. And with a $75 order, you will receive the five hand-stamped cards, the clear faceted gems, and $25 of new retired product of my choice sent to you. So not only will you save what's stamping up, you're going to get some free goodies for me for um, placing an order through me. And um, I just want to thank you all for participating in it so far. And it's really going well. And time to stock up. Christmas is coming. Get your wish list and get your orders in. So head on over to stampinsuecreates.stampinup.net and thank you so much for joining me. And I have some other fun things coming up, what I did with some wooden blocks that I got from the DT as well. So be sure to, to watch for that video. All right, thanks so much for joining me. Hit the subscribe if you're new and the little bell. You'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. And have a super stampin' day and I'll see you all back here real soon. Bye for now.